Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 26. In a recent Nature article, scientists at Princess Margaret Cancer Center, Stanford, and other institutions challenged scientific journals to hold computational researchers to higher standards of transparency and data sharing. In January 2020, BBC News reported that a prominent scientific journal published results of a Google Health study which claimed that an AI system could outperform human radiologists in breast cancer screening. However, the study lacked a sufficient description of the methods used, including their code and models. According to Benjamin Ebb Kahn's, scientific progress depends on the ability of researchers to scrutinize the results of a study and reproduce the main finding. But in computational research, it's not yet a widespread criterion for the details of an AI study to be fully accessible. The authors offer numerous frameworks that allow safe and effective sharing of AI data, code, and predictive models. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 20 for more. What are the most popular data science job titles, programming languages, and skills in 2020? Data scientist Jack Chishu Lin recently wrote a paper based on 5,500 data science job postings showing the industrial sectors in the data set, the most frequent keywords listed, and the most common programming languages. Lin showed common skills separated by job titles and the top five skills for data scientist, data analyst, and data engineer. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 20 for more. Hyperparameter tuning, or HP tuning, is the task of choosing a set of optimal hyperparameters for a learning algorithm. Many researchers use simple methods of HP tuning because advanced methods are perceived as difficult. A new paper by Liam Lee explores the capabilities that are necessary for advanced HP tuning in practice. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.